Hello everybody, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. And today guys, we are doing an output test head to head, putting the JA Solar and of course, Jinko Solar Panel together, right under the same roof. All right, so we're trying to find out exactly what is gonna happen if the two of them are subjected to the same sun, to the same environment, to the same conditions, what are they gonna do in terms of energy conversion? And right here, guys, here is the Jinko. All right, this is the Jinko 465 watt solar panel. It's a half cut cell. It's a monocrystalline solar panel, pretty much a very tall solar panel, and I love it. <laughs> okay, so let's see the back and see, let's see the labels. All right, so 465 watts is pretty much a very tall, half cut cell solar panel, all right? And um, we'll go in a quick succession here. This is the JA Solar. It's a half cut cell as well. It's a, they're all brand new solar panel and it's a monocrystalline solar panel, okay? Pretty tall as well. It's a 460 watt solar panel. It's just a five watt difference from the other one. Uh, the Jinko solar panel is 465 watts. This is 460 watts. All right, so let's check it out. Let's check the label. It's about to go down head to head. So what do you guys think? If we have to put these guys together under the same roof, what are they gonna do? All right, which one are you gonna put your money on? <laughs> is it gonna be the Jinko solar panel, 465 watt solar panel? Or is it gonna be the JA solar panel, 460 watt solar panel? So they are all equal in all sense to be able to do this battle. So which do you think is gonna do better in the energy conversion? We're about to find out. Hey, in case you haven't subscribed, this is exactly how you support us in this work that we're doing, all right? We'll appreciate if you take your time to click on that subscription button, all right? Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and do not forget to like. Are you guys ready? All right, so to make this test happen, this is what we've provided. Right here is the test base. So right here we have brand new charge controllers. Each of them are 100 amps each. It's a little bit too much, but it's okay. All right, so we have two charge controllers here, all connected to different precision meters. All right, so the way we've done it is that each of the solar panel is going to have its own charge controller. It's gonna have its own precision meter, and it's definitely gonna have its own battery as well. So we're using 220 amps by 12 volts right here. All right, so the essence of um, having these two batteries is that we do not want them to share the same battery. Sometimes when the batteries are shared, um, it pretty much causes in interference and uh, it might affect a particular solar panel. So we want to give each solar panel its own parallel line. Okay, so the battery is gonna be connected to the charge controller and then the precision meter and then to the solar panel. So one solar panel, one battery, one charge controller, one precision meter, same thing with the other solar panel, all right? So that's essentially here, the test space connected to a circuit breaker. So at a flip of a button, we um, you have the energy flowing in and we can tell exactly what's going on in terms of energy conversion as it is. And of course, we have this angle bracket to be able to tilt to the right direction where the sun is to be able to get the very best of the sun yield. So are you guys as excited as I am to find out what the test is? Are you really curious to find out what the test is going to be? <laughs> Stick around if you want to find out exactly what the test is going to be because it's about to go down. All right, everybody, it's all set and we're ready to find out. Don't forget, the battle is between the JA Solar and the Jinko Solar. The Jinko Solar is 465 watts, while the JA Solar is 460 watts. Without wasting much time, everybody, let's find out. As the sun comes right down on the solar panel to the very last bus stop, which is the battery, let's check out what is being generated right here. Jinko 367, JA is 369, Jinko is 369, JA Solar is 365, Jinko is 367, 
JA Solar is 362 to 368. Jinko Solar is 366. JA is 367. Jinko is 366. Can you guys see that it's pretty much head to head, all right, between the JA Solo and the Jinko Solo panel, everybody, you can see it's, woo, they're all going at the same pace, man. Same thing, I can see no difference. <laughs> These are two giant solar panels, all right? The JA solar panel and the Jinko solar panel head to head and digging it. What we wanna do is the next stage of the test, which is definitely going to be switching the solar panels, all right? So we're gonna put the Jinko solar panel to where the JA solar is right now and take the JA solar from where it is back to where the Jinko solar panel is and let's find out. Maybe switching the solar panel and its position in the sun is going to really show us if one is bigger than the other. Let's do that real quick. Okay guys, so now the positions are switched. Okay, so the solar panels are in different places in the sun position. We usually do this to ensure that the position of the sun is not uh, uh, being taken advantage of by some solar panels. So right now it's switched. So the solar panels are in very different positions. So let's find out exactly what's happening, what the reading is saying behind the back after the switch, right here. JA is 362. And Jinko is 366. JA Solar is 368. Jinko Solar is 365. JA Solar is 367. Jinko Solar is 365. All right, so I'm sure you already know what I want to do because I have the clothes to be able to patch off a particular side of the cells of the solar panel all right so i want to actually block off almost half of the solar panels to see what their performance is going to be in situations of shading and of course low light situations all right thank you so very much my man oliver so right now you can see that we have half of the cells of the solar panel blocked off so it's pretty much like almost a half of a half of the cut cell is completely blocked off so let's see what the energy generation is going to be for the solar panel all right so let's see who the king is right now so let's see what's happening right here All right, so we're moving to the very last test, which is going to be the low light situation. What is going to happen if the sun is not so um, high anymore? So the situations where you have the sun coming down, all right, what is going to be the production of the solar panels? Is any of them going to do better with the low light situation? Let's find out. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm really, really impressed with the two solar panels. Congratulations to you, Jinko Solar Panel, and congratulations to JA Solar Panels. These are very good solar panels. You can see the way they were driving at each other head to head. And for the fact that none could outmuscle the other is a clear indication that it's really a very good solar panel. Thank you so very much, guys, for being part of this. If you haven't subscribed, always remember, this is how you support this great work that we're doing. We will appreciate if you can take your time to click on that subscription button. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and do not forget to like. See you guys in the next video.